so we have another AI agent tool called Cortixuna. And unlike other AI agent tools that you probably have heard before, this AI agent tool is 100% open source, although it's actually offering a paid plan if you want to use the resources from this company but it is possible to build something on top of this technology and i believe there's going to be more products and platforms utilizing suna in the near future but that's not a thing that i want to discuss in this video previously i have talked a lot about ai agents like genspark and also proxy from convergence ai so these two genspark and proxy are definitely ai agents although they work in a different way for example proxy is more about interactivity so it is an agent that literally can browse the internet the same way human did it can see the page it can click on the buttons on the links it can see information that is hidden on the page unlike on genspark ai which is which is not able to click on the page or see something it can access certain content but definitely not as interactive as convergence proxy ai for example here i asked proxy how many audio track in this video and it was able to just go to the youtube page this is video from mr beast and it can click this button this settings page and then see the number of audio audio tracks on this video and it is able to give me the correct answer and it tells me yep there are 23 unique audio track languages available so this capability is not something that can be done by genspark genspark is more like ai that has access to certain content but it is not able to see or you know see in the same way as it capture the screen or see what is the person uh, in the picture or what is the element the button etc it, it cannot do that just basically just like api i would say it's maybe not the correct way to describe it but it's almost like api it's almost like it has access to content because it has mcp or api and that's how genspark work but that's totally fine it's not as interactive but it is able to get the job done now i think it's very important for me to tell you that information because Cortexuna are actually much more closer to Genspark than Proxy, so it is not able to interact with the page, and that will affect what other things that you can do with this AI agent. I actually have done one test about interactivity, like I'm asking the same video about how many audio tracks in that video, and it wasn't able to give me a solid answer. So that's one way to know that this is definitely not a uh, an interactive AI agent but I have another test and I want to create a presentation using this prompt the same prompt that I used on Genspark generate a presentation to showcase the popularity of electric bicycles across countries present some numbers studies and opinion research the trend in the past 10 years use minimalist modern design so let me just copy this and I'm going to go back to Cortexuna and click dashboard all right now i actually have done some testing yesterday but somehow there was an error message and i wasn't able to run the ai and this is actually quite common in new ai agent tools they're just not working every single time but hopefully i can just do the test and can show you the result and to see whether or not this is worth the deal or maybe you can just skip it and use something more solid like from gen spar super agent all right I hope it is working and not throwing me 500 error because yesterday that's exactly the error that I got so that's why I have to redo the video again oh there you go there is this plan I believe yeah it is creating some sort of plan and then it will do every single task that was listed on the plan now this process would take quite a while but when it's done I'm going to show you the results so I'll be back in just a few minutes well after almost 10 minutes it's finally failed it is not done it is failed and this is because uh, this ai agent tool is actually relying not on the number of credits that you have on your account but instead it is using the minutes so how many hours or how many minutes you are using the AI agent and since i'm using the free version which is makes a lot of sense why would i pay for something that i don't really need unfortunately i only get 10 minutes of credits and apparently this one simple task is consuming nearly all of them and even that wasn't able to finish the whole task and that's quite disappointing so uh, just to give you a perspective Cortexuna is going to cost you 30 dollar per 
uh, per month i believe to get i think four hours of usage but let me double check i think it was 30 dollar and that's a bit more expensive yeah it's 30 dollar for four hours per month so it is quite expensive and four hours for ai agents is nothing basically it is nothing if you have been using AI agents you know for hours it is nothing and genspark is costing about 20 dollars proxy is also about 20 dollars so i don't know how cortexuna could compete against these two established platforms but we will we will see anyway i just don't want to leave you leave this video empty-handed so this is one example that was demonstrated by cortex ai and apparently the way it works is very much similar to gens AI agent it can plan all the whole all the things and also apparently it can uh, interact with the page so it's it has that interactivity but it's not as deep as proxy agent and unfortunately during my test it wasn't able to do to the, to do the interaction so that's why i said it's much closer to gens ai and also it is taking quite a lot of time even though you can eventually see that the result is going to be uh, quite uh, satisfactory i would say there are some pages that it was able to generate so let me give you a few examples here there you go so there are a few things that it created and yeah this is just a speed up video unfortunately but you can see that it can it can create content similar to gen spark super agent so yeah i hope this video gives you a perspective about cortex ai about suna AI agents and uh, hopefully it can help you decide which AI agent that you want to use but anyway that's it for now if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day